In recent news, we have Soda Poppin and Tyler One. In a recent stream, Tyler One got upset with Soda Poppin after Tyler One reacted to one of Soda's videos and claims that Tyler One was not putting enough effort into WoW and he had support along the way. After Soda Poppin's remarks, Tyler One confronts Soda's claims in the following clip. That's not true. You're just spitting dumb, disgusting dog because you've been playing for 50 years. So you don't understand what it's like to play a game brand new. You just don't, you just don't understand. Especially at the level I'm playing at. Whether you like it or not, I'm level 50, whatever. Oh, blah, blah, blah. He got help, blah, blah, blah. In the day, I'm still here. I've died once. In hardcore, big, bad, big, bad, wow. Right? And I am visually improving. You guys can cope and say I'm not every single day, every single dungeon. So you're full of shit, bro. And that's a little bit disrespectful. Do not ever tell me I'm not putting in the time into anything to try and learn. Because I am. At, at more than you could ever imagine. And again, we're just going to go here now anyway. I, I have put more effort and success and drive and power and passion into every, any field you've ever done in your life than times that by 50. That's me. So don't ever say I'm not trying anything. That's just the most disrespectful thing you could ever tell me. Anyway, let's move forward. After watching his dungeons last night, I can confidently say I've had way worse tanks in classic dungeons that have probably been playing this game for years. I think he is managing the absolute information overload WoW can be pretty well. As someone who said, no way T1 can get glad in WOW, given three months or whatever his stand said, I still believe that. He still has some very bad habits. That said, he has clearly been improving and is definitely trying. More than can be said for lifelong classic player S Fund, who has zero excuse for his play. Tyler was born into extreme poverty. Dude went to a tiny sh high school, broke all their lifting records, got a D1 scholarship, became the biggest loyal North American streamer in spite of getting banned got 2k yellow on chess.com despite almost every chess content creator saying he would not and now has put in 200 hours in three weeks in wow while being coached by such people as sonny and Arlando. not trying is not something tyler does i mean soda of all people should get it he tried to learn league with zero knowledge you have hundreds of people overwhelming you with info screaming at you for f***ing up that eventually you just say f*** that i'll play my own way and pick up little skills along the way maybe not the most efficient way to play but the best way to preserve sanity with that being said tyler is super resistant to any sort of coaching and it seems like he thinks everyone is being condescending when they do once he gets six if he was willing to submit to being coached by someone, that would be great content and would probably qualify him to main tank, which is even better content. Destiny calls Asmongold a fascist child. Pretty obvious, you know, that she's not a not a fan of Trump. Yeah. <laughs> this is also, this is why you should feel bad if you're in the mainstream media. You should also feel bad because you're doing all this work just to try to get them to respect you, and they won't. These people are authoritarians. These people are fascist. They're not going to respect you ever, right? Asmongold doesn't give a f that this is one of the most soft... This isn't even softball. This is t-ball. This is one of the most t-ball interviews I've ever seen in my f life. And dipshits like this chud f are still saying things like, Oh, yeah, well, you know, it's obvious that she f hates Trump. Like, oh, she's trying to set him up so much with the... She's trying to trigger him with the picture. Like, why are you even trying? Why not, have, why not just, like, do a real interview? You're never, ever, ever getting people like this to say that you're doing a good job. Hasman's reply will start with, I like Destiny a lot, but Destiny has made a valid point, but he forgot one thing that livestream fail commenters clearly figured out. He is bisexual, checkmate, liberal. Destiny made a great point, but the second he said, fascist chud, most people's brains shut off and will will eclipse any subsequent point thereafter. Bro is so blackpilled. It's just like he said, though. Who gives a F? These people will cry and accuse you of being a communist wokey no matter what you say. Kids, gloves, or no, these people are professional victims and sometimes, unironically, stupid. Asman Gold spreads right-wing propaganda, not because he believes in it, or because he's a Daily Wire grifter. It's because he's legitimately unintelligent and not a critical thinker. In a sane world, this dude's legacy would be ending up in Elden Ring rage compilations, and no more. But, because of how effed our society is with social media, I have to see this dude's dip opinion about the economy on YouTube's front page, when he probably can't even explain what a stock is. These people deserve to be mocked and shat on this aggressively. They saw all the horrid shit Trump did and voted for, supported him again anyway. They get what they deserve at this point.